Hey guys, today I picked myself up one of these, and this is a Super Game Boy. And basically what this does is, well, it lets you play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo. This, by the way, came out in 1994, so maybe it was a little late. And it cost about 60 bucks. So, in 1994, to fork out 60 bucks to play Game Boy games, I personally didn't really care for this when it came out. Um, but a lot of people did. A lot, a lot of people had a lot of Game Boy games. And, you know, maybe they liked playing them on the road, but the fact is, the Game Boy, especially the original Game Boy, you know, the screen was very hard to see. When stuff moved, it got blurry. You had to have really optimal lighting to see the screen well. And so, using the Super Game Boy and just playing it on your TV um, can certainly make playing the Game Boy games a lot easier. So, like I said, this came out in '94 and it cost 60 bucks. Um, there are some un some unique features in the Super Game Boy, and um, some of them are seldomly used. For starters, any original Game Boy game, which, by the way, is all I have. These are the absolute original Game Boy games. Um, they'll play on here and you'll be able to change the border while you're playing the game and uh, you'll be able to do some changing of the color palettes you know instead of four shades of gray you could have a variation of like four different colors I mean so you're still limited to like three or four colors you know it doesn't look amazing and I actually prefer just to put it in the black and white mode and just keep it looking black and white because the color thing hardly ever works um, but there were later Game Boy games that were specially optimized and they would have a little logo on them that would say Super Game Boy Game Pack and they'd have a little bit of extra information in them for the Super Game Boy and usually it was like an extra background like it would have its own background uh, file um, and it could also have uh, more color pr programmed into the game um, whereas of course on the Game Boy you're only going to have the four shades of grey uh, but in a Super Game Boy, they could have up to 12 colors uh, used on the game screen. So that was that was pretty neat. There were a few games that used that. Um, even more rare is actually the Game Boy game itself could tap into the Super Nintendo hardware and actually use it for the sound. Um, there's only really a few games that did this off the top of my head. Contra the Alien Wars and um, Kirby, Kirby Dreamland 2. Um, they actually used the Super Nintendo for, you know, enhanced uh, music and sound. So that's, that's pretty cool there. Um, also, some games let you do two-player. And, um, you know, when you had a Game Boy, you had the option to link it. And um, you'd have to have two Game Boys uh, to play a two-player fighting, say a fighting game, for example. You know, this wouldn't work with all games, like, say, racing games, where player one needs to see his screen, but player two needs to see his screen because he could be in a different spot of the game. So this wouldn't work with all games, but uh, it worked with, uh, off the top of my head, Killer Instinct for the Game Boy. Um, you could actually, in the Super Game Boy, it would detect once again that it's in the Super Game Boy, and it would give you a two-player option right on the, on the screen with just, one, with, with just one cartridge, whereas normally you'd be looking for another Game Boy with another cartridge in it. Uh, it would give you a two-player option, and you could use two Super Nintendo controllers to play the two-player fighting game. So there were actually, you know, a lot of neat features put into the Super Game Boy. It's just that most of them were, were hardly used. Um, another interesting fact about the Super Game Boy, actually, is that um, it doesn't use any emulation. You'd think maybe um, the Super Nintendo processor would be doing all the work running the game. That's not the case. There's full Game Boy hardware in here. So there's actually a processor in here that's running the Game Boy game. And as far as the Game Boy game is concerned, it's being run inside this. And the Super Nintendo is really there just for your input output, um, your controls and going out to the TV, the, the picture and sound. Um, so the actual Game Boy game itself is completely run in the Super Game Boy cartridge. Um, another very seldom known fact about the Super Game Boy is that it works with the Super Nintendo mouse. Most people don't know this, um, but you can use your mouse 
basically just to navigate through the menus and to draw your own backgrounds. So I'll show you that as well. And uh, of course, your suit, your Game Boy games just go in the top like so. And um, then of course, it fits in your Super Nintendo. No big secret to how that works. Um, but once you get in, you got some menu options and some stuff like that, and I'll show you that now. All right, so here we go. Turn the old Super Nintendo on, and this loads up pretty quickly, right in, right away. You know, there's no fuss or muss about it. Pretty much goes right into the game, as you can see here. Um, you know, it doesn't go to its own menu by default. And to bring up the menu, you basically press uh, L and R on the controller at the same time. And um, in here, you got different uh, settings from the, the color palette you're using. Uh, like I said, I like it uh, just black and white, actually. Just like that. And then the background you can change. Now, like I said, some games come with their own background, uh, but in this case it doesn't. Uh, this older Super Mario game. And, um... You know what? Really, out of all of them, I, I just prefer this one. Th this looks awesome. I mean, <laughs> that's a great idea to have that in there. And really just looks like you're playing it on an original Game Boy. And here you can change the controls around. And here you can make your own palette. Uh, so here's the four shades of gray. Or basically the, the four original colors. And then you can just, you know, you can say you want uh, black to be red. And you can see how that would work. You could make up your own color palette. Um, you know, I could make the pipes green, I think, with that. But, uh, of course, nothing's really separated, so, you know, I just don't like the way it looks. And, you know, for that reason, I... Uh, I just keep it black and white, like I said. And here's where you can draw your own um, your own backgrounds. Let me let me get out of here for a second. First of all, let me fix this because ugh. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the thing most people don't know. Right now, I'm just using the controller. I'm going to press L and R on the controller again, and that of course brings up the menu. Instead, with the mouse. Let me just get the mouse out here. With the mouse in controller port 2, press both mouse buttons. Press mouse button 1 and 2 at the same time. And that will bring up the menu. At least it's supposed to. There we go. Don't know what that was about. Uh, but anyways, this is the mouse now. Now, the only problem with the mouse is it's really slow, and I don't... You can see in the top left, it shows a picture of a mouse. Just so you guys can see that. That's that's right there. That's telling you that you're using the mouse. And uh, when it comes to drawing your own background, of course it's going to be uh, you know easier with the mouse. So... But just the fact you can use the mouse, like I said, most people don't don't realize that. It's you know, it's not really uh, something. You know, I read a lot of uh, reviews and websites about this to obviously do the review for it, and and most of them don't mention that either. So then once again, you press the two mouse buttons at the same time. And uh, then it goes away, or at least it's supposed to go away. What am I missing here? How do you get the damn menu to go away? Okay, there we go.
You know what it is? It's the mouse button too. And my mouse is like, you really gotta press it really, really hard. Uh, but there you go. That's uh, definitely something most people don't know.